An EGP release issued on the 20th announced that the Glory of Speed, GOS, Europa's top motor race has been called off for the year. Gee, I wonder why. This marks the first such cancellation in the event's 24 year history. Okay, that's a bummer. Likely the result of difficulties in hosting an international race of this scale amid the worsening conflicts unfolding across the continent. So many Q characters, so many guns. <laughs> That's what this game should just be renamed. Um, the progress being made by automobile makers today is largely drafted into military use. Yep. And more than a few manufacturers have spurred such public events for fear of trade. And by extension, government, secrets being leaked, further informing the decision to call up the race. These explanations offer little solace, though, to disappointed racers and their fans. So, come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? You know it, homegirl! Damn it, you have nothing for me to donate to! How dare! I want come back more and side see the stories! The wall again soon. I'll be waiting for you! Okay, I'm disappointed though. And then, old man, would you like to teach me something? Hello again, son. I'll teach you heal all today. That sounds beautiful. Use it to request a full medical team to heal all wounded allied units. Love it. Well, what is your decision? Um, clearly the answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. Ah, uh, yep. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. I imagine he just has a sleeping bag somewhere nearby, just and he just always sleeps there. Okay, let's use the rest of the points to do training stuff. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Train up! Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's up the scouts. You're better than this! Push those limits! Good work, maggots. And then engineers. I know they never give him a name. I got no you. Like they reference him, but they never give him a name, which is just rude. Good work. Let me see if I do like some here. And then some here. That's fine. Just investing some points. Come back. Okay. So I. Oh, hello. So I think we're gonna go through this story stuff, and then we're gonna. We'll re let me see. Where are we at? Yeah, we could go through some story stuff and then I'll probably wrap up the stream. Wilkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Wilkin. Hey. You got called in too, Faldio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. There are such things as off-duty days? Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. Why does this sound sketch? What? But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? Probably pretty damn rare. They say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. Oh. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> 
Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Randgreeze tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to meet some damn princess. I just want to go watch some birds. <laughs> I mean, I don't fully blame him. Ooh, that's a really cool scenery. I hope they don't mess this up. <laughs> Sorry to keep you, Captain. Oh, he's cute. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. <laughs> Being the good wife that she is. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. True wife. Oh, damn, he hot, though. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. You're wearing the exact same one. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. <laughs> hey, don't you all look nice. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Galia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. Borg. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. Rude. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Gross. I'm less excited. <sighs> We're about to attend a banquet. And now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Ooh. That's pretty grand. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two she great looks powers like a join together. Galia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently freedom. under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Princess. Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline, and my heart is a repository of justice. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful, and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. I feel like something's gonna be alright. They just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. 
And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. <laughs> All of Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. You know, the princess just sits there. We're not fighting this dead. war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Oh shit, he just straight up quitting? Faldio. Did he just straight up quit the war? Is that even an option? Can you just straight up quit? <laughs> I'm glad that's over. It's possible Bing we should be heading back out. soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Princess Cordelia. I I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. I just noticed the headpiece on her head, like the unicorn shaped thing. That's kind of cool. Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? <laughs> How dare you ask questions? Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. Yes, it is. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Galia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. Man, that's a sucky life to have. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Good night. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The mark is alone. Now is our chance. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. Are they gonna? They're gonna kidnap the princess. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. W wait! Hold it, Verat. Verat. Terrible news. Oh, I forgot who he was. What's the problem? Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped. Hey, <laughs> called it. Kidnapped? It can't be. We literally just saw her. <laughs> yes. They worked fast. It was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. <gasps> so the Federation takes her under their protection and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it. Verat, you've got to get her back. All right, damn, put it all the hard work on her, why don't you? Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. Yes, ma'am. But first, Asterix. You know I gotta read the bonus shit. I leave nothing untouched. Ooh, airplane. Hey, Casey. What is that thing? It's an airplane. <gasps> Cutie. The first test flight succeeded during EW1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris. 
Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? <gasps> are you telling me she's also a genius? Oh, well, yes. Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Damn, I love you. <laughs> Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a Transgallian tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. Oh, it's so cute. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Oh, that's real sweet. Isn't it? Isara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. <laughs> what? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come on. <laughs> yes. You don't mind? Geek Trio, go. Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. Oh. All right. First emergency. That's the emergency siren. What's happening at this hour? Princess cannot be. the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. Okay, there's gonna be a whole map to do. So, uh, we're not doing that right now. We are just gonna save and then call it a night.